Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News on Tuesday, August 15, 2023. Wanted to run through a couple of pieces with you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that you may find extremely interesting. I'm just going to read them to you, so sit back, relax, and listen, but pay attention. On Monday, Hawaii Governor Josh Green announced that his administration was considering acquiring properties in the seaside resort town of Lahaina that had been destroyed by the recent uh, what we'll call wildfires, even though I don't believe that they were wildfires. They were fires, all right, but not wildfires. Anyway, I digress. He vowed to prevent foreign buyers from swooping in to exploit the tragedy, suggesting the state was better suited to take control of the land. I'm already thinking of ways for the state to acquire that land so we can put it into workforce housing to put it back into families or make it open spaces in perpetuity as a memorial to the people who were lost, Green said while standing amongst the rubble or perhaps create a 15-minute city there, or maybe a 15-minute island, as some are alluding to on the socials. We want this to be something we remember after the pain passes as a magic place. Lahaina will rebuild. The tragedy right now is the loss of life. The buildings can, can be rebuilt over time. Even the banyan tree may survive, but we don't want this to become a clear space where when people from overseas just come and decide they're going to take it, the state will take it and preserve it first. Okay, very interesting. And in a separate press conference, Green reiterated his commitment to ensure the land was protected for residents and revealed that he had spoken with the Hawaiian Attorney General regarding options to do a moratorium on any sales of properties that have been damaged or destroyed. And again, if you uh, follow the socials, you see Hawaii residents making videos describing real estate and other investors already trying to buy this land up, land that has been burned. You've seen the images of the buildings and cars burnt, yet trees standing, stop signs standing next to burnt cars. Again, you have to think that this was some very precise fire making very directed fire making. I think you know what I am referring to here, but then there is this. Beginning September 25th in Honolulu will be the Hawaii Digital Government Summit 2023. Uh, the overview says the Digital Government Summit brings together technology-focused public sector professionals with leading industry partners to connect on innovative approaches, get inspired, and discover new technologies. Join us and let's improve the future government together. Um, of course, one of the speakers will be Governor Josh Green, amongst others. But what is interesting here, I'm going to show you this. This is something that really jumped out at me. Uh, one of the keynotes on that day will be to transform adversity into advantage, how to conquer life's hurdles. Now listen carefully. The world has become more difficult and the challenges are bigger than ever. Adopting a new normal mindset is necessary to empower your team to navigate the challenges and opportunities through a contextual model to overcome adversity. How will you manage uncertainty? Is your team ready to embrace change? This session will provide a powerful and interactive message of resilience and perseverance that will inspire you to see change as an opportunity for growth. And the speaker will be John Register who is an inspirational and motivational speaker, author, and two-time Paralympic silver medalist. But adopting a new normal mindset, if you can see that, folks. That phrase, new normal, we have heard that before. Do you remember? Just a few years back during a particular situation um, that was referred to as a biological situation, a... Uh, 
oh, we'll call it a bugaboo of sorts, an illness. I think you know where I'm going with this. Unfortunately, I have to couch my words. Don't believe the official narrative here about uh, what has gone on in Hawaii uh, beginning on August 8th, ladies and gentlemen. There is something far more sinister at play here. Um, right down probably to the number of reported dead, um, the properties, properties that have survived while others near them have burned. Don't believe the legacy media um, narrative here, folks. Uh, you know that something far more sinister has occurred here. I would dare say something deliberate. Where will this go from here? And my question is, who or what is next? Let us refer to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 13. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, but on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. We are wrestling against the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. These are the end times. We are seeing evil gaining strength everywhere. You're seeing it there on the island. You're seeing it all over America and all over the world. You are seeing it in the famous faces and in the acronyms like WEF. You know where we are going. You know where we are. Press into Jesus with everything you have because he is all we need. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.